Hey guys, I'm Jazz Tutorials. I'm going to show you how to create a cool little space background type thing. Okay, I know I made space stuff in the back in the past and whatnot, or cool spacey type things, but this is even awesomer because it's easy and you don't really have to do much. Alright, I have this girl open here as you can see. Um, I've cut out her background using the Magic Eraser tool, which by the way is the best tool for cutting around backgrounds. It gets rid of, rid of it, makes it transparent much faster than doing it yourself. Alright, now, I have this space type background here. Look at that. Cool, right? Alright, I found this on Google just, to, just so you're aware, but I'll give it to you in the description for download because I'm sure you won't be able to find it like I did. So, um, alright. We have layer 1 now. Now on layer 1, you're going to go over here to the elliptical marquee tool. You're going to create a circle with it, but you want to make sure you have 30px for your feather. 30px right there. Alright? Now, holding down your shift key, you want to create a perfect like circle to your liking. Now, you can use any size you'd like. Um, doesn't matter as long as it suits your photo and looks good for you. Then, once you have your circle made, you're going to go over here and click on the square box right here that says Add Layer Mask. That's going to mask out what you just selected in that circle. So look at that. Cool, right? Okay. Now, just so we're not confused and accidentally make a mistake in the layer mask instead of the actual layer itself, I'm going to add. A, I'm going to um, apply the mask layer. It just makes it simpler and easier to work with. So there we go. Okay. Now we're going to duplicate layer one. So do a Control J or Command or Command J, whichever you're using Windows or uh, Mac or whatever. All right. Now on layer one, copy. You're going to change that to screen. Okay. Looks cool, right? We're not dead. So go over here to layer 1, and you're going to change that one to overlay. Alright, look at that. Cool, right? It's a little dark on her head, but whatever. So we're going to fix that in a second. So now, you have that good and done. Now we're going to merge those two together. So do a command, control E, or a command E. Now, it's going to go straight to overlay, and for that reason alone, you're going to want to do a command J, or a control J, and duplicate that layer again. And on the layer 1 copy that we've just made now, you want to make that lighten. Awesome! Look at that! Aren't we special? We are special. Okay. So, now we see that. It's a little bit weird looking, so we're going to fix the colors a bit. So go over here to Image and Adjustments and click on Color Balance. And you just want to make the colors blend in with the background a bit. So do whatever you feel is right for your photo. It doesn't really matter. There's no set numbers any in, in here. If there was, I'd tell you, but there's not. Let's see. I like that. Let's just play around with your shadows and midtones and highlights and see what looks good to you. I like that. So blue. So cool. Alright. So we have that good and going. But I want to make it look even more cooler. So I'm going to go back up to image adjustments. And on image adjustments you'll see a thing called photo filter. Um, I don't use it that much because I don't really, really have any use for it. But I found a use for it today. So go into photo filter. And you're going to want to click on the deep blue. And look at that, it blends in with what you just did, it looks really cool and stuff, and awesome. Now, you can go ahead and add other cool effects to it. Um, what I did in a pre what I did previously in a, um, is I went up here to my brushes, and I selected a 100px brush, soft brush by the way. And I want to take a pink color of choice, and I'm just going to create like a little like thing like that. And then just go to like screen. And it's like pretty cool. But you gotta kinda erase this part here that kinda looks ridiculous. But um I think that looks pretty cool. It's like, oh hey, I got some pink on my arms and shit. Yeah. So and it looks pretty cool. But uh yeah, that's basically it. Um you can actually probably go further and find more things to create with it and you know make it look more awesome. But that's basically what I've created for you guys and if you like this tutorial, which I hope you do, click my like button. And if you really, really like this tutorial and you really like all my stuff, you can click my subscribe button. 
So, there you have it. This is my final outcome right here, as you see. Looks pretty cool, right? Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, subscribe, and like. Pretty please.